Hey there, it's Sarah from Sarah and Creations and welcome back. For today's video, I wanted to share with you how to make these adorable little reindeer noses treat bags. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, you're going to want to find a reindeer image. Now this could be a stamp, die cut, or even a sticker. I, however, chose to use the reindeer image from the Doodle Charms Cricut cartridge, which is found on page 126 of the handbook. Now, I decided to use the blackout feature so that I could later add my own facial features to my reindeer. For my images, I sized all of them to 2 inches and cut them out using a dark brown cardstock for the antler portion of the head and a much lighter brown cardstock for the head itself. Now I decided against the nose it would normally cut out and decided to cut my own using a small circle punch from Recollections. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue all of my images together. I like to use a liquid adhesive so that it gives me a little more wiggle room to line all of the images up perfectly. The particular glue I'm using today is Tombow Mono Multi Glue and I find that it works really really well. And once I have the nose attached to my reindeer, I'm going to use some Christmas red stickles to add a little shine to the reindeer nose. After I've done that and let it dry, I'm also going to add some glossy accents to the nose to give it even more dimension. Now if you happen to get glossy accents where you don't want it, you can just take an X-Acto knife and lightly scrape that away. I will then set that aside to dry and move on to creating the treat topper itself. For this, I will be using the small stitch rectangles from Lawn Fawn. I will be using the second largest rectangle in this set. Now, this die normally cuts a piece that measures approximately 4 inches by 2 and 3 quarters. However, I didn't need a, my treat topper to be quite that large, but I did want to keep the stitching detail. So, to create a small stitch piece, I took a piece of craft cardstock and cut it down to 2 and a half by 8 and a half. I then scored it down the center at 1 and a quarter and folded it in half. I then took the piece and the die and placed it on my cutting mat, making sure that the folded edge of my piece faced the inside of the die so that only the free edges of the piece of paper would be cut. I then ran that through my cuddle bug. The resulting piece comes out to be approximately two and a half inches by two and three quarters. You can see here that the finished piece is quite a bit smaller than the original, but still contains all the stitching details that I wanted. After the cutting was complete, I decided to go ahead and add some stamping to my treat topper. To do this, I first masked off the stitching border to ensure that none of the stamping would overlap it. Then, using a snowflake from the Snowflake Greeting Stamp Set by Casual Fridays, I added just a few snowflakes to my treat topper using Versamark ink. I wanted my stamping to be more subtle, so using the Versamark ink gives the finished piece more of a tone-on-tone -tone effect. I then set aside my topper to allow the ink to dry. Now I can move on to creating the treat bag itself. For this, I will be using these pretzel bags that I picked up from Joann's. Now they are originally meant for pretzel rods, so they are rather long, but I will be trimming them down later. As for the reindeer noses, I decided to use Whoppers, and for Rudolph's nose, I will be using sour cherry candies. Now it's completely up to you what you want to use. These are just some examples. For each treat bag, you will need eight Whoppers and one sour cherry.
Once you have filled your tree bag, you can go ahead and trim off the excess, but make sure to allow for enough to fold over your bag and put a staple in it. Adding a staple at this point just helps to ensure that none of the items in the bag will come rolling out. Once my treat bag is complete, I can then go back and finish my reindeer. Now in my opinion, glossy accents doesn't dry very quickly, so I let my reindeer dry overnight and came back to it in the morning. To add the details to my reindeer, I am using a black Sakura Jelly Roll pen, and I'm adding eyes, a mouth, and lines to his ears. I will then take a white Sakura Jelly Roll pen and add some highlights to his antlers. As a finishing touch, I grabbed some very old chalk that I had in my craft room and added some rosy cheeks to my image using a Q-tip. Once that's done, I can move on to assembling my treat bag. I will start off by attaching my topper to my treat bag using my tiny attacher. As for the labels, I actually created a document on my computer. I just picked a font that I really liked and wrote out reindeer noses several times. And then I printed it out off onto an 8.5 by 11 piece of red cardstock and just trimmed them down to the size I wanted. I also wanted to add a banner end to my label. And to do that, I will cut a slit in the center and then cut from each corner up to the top of that slit. And this will give me the perfect banner end. Once that's complete, I can add some adhesive and add my label to my treat bag topper, making sure to cover up the staple. Lastly, I will go ahead and add my reindeer head using some foam tape. So that will do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and got inspired. I will see you all next time. Have a wonderful day.